Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. And today we got the SAU Bulls back in action, taking on Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, if you noticed from the offseason video, I made one change to the schedule. We took off UCLA and we put on Oregon State. So Oregon State, they're going to be our last game of the season. Hopefully we can get some revenge because, remember, last year they beat us in Oregon. So hopefully when they come to Texas, we're going to put a old school Texas beat down on them like we do to every other school that comes into our house, man. So here we go, man. You see it. Hargrove, he's wearing number 10. He is starting his first ever game as a SAU Bull. His first ever game since high school, technically. Now they have Travis looking like my man Sean Alexander from Beck in the day rocking that 37 running people over and he's gonna take it to the crib touchdown alabama crimson tide and just like that on the opening kickoff they put seven up on the board now we're gonna get the ball to hargrove who puts it on the turf fumble but luckily we were able to recover and maybe he was better wearing 26 instead of number 10 i don't know mark cole on the slant route makes the catch makes a nice little gain and on third down we give the ball to hargrove and he's gonna have enough to move those chains first down bulls gonna take a shot deep chad johnson the best tied in in the country doing his thing. Going up top to Chad Johnson. Moss and two defenders bringing that one in. Setting up first and going from there. Paul Grove is going to put it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls. Nice drive right there to answer that opening kickoff by Travis. Now, Travis, he's the starting running back as well. Y'all let me know who is the best running back in Alabama history. Is it Trent Richardson, Mark Ingram, Sean Alexander? You let me know down in the comment section below. Anyways, man, Richie Thompson, after we force Alabama to go three in. Now, we give him the ball. He's going to pick, get up field, pick up a nice game. That's going to set up third and inches, and we throw the ball, and that pass hits the grass. So, on fourth and inches, we decide to go for it, and Hargrove has enough to move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Right here is going to pick up 10 on first and 10. Move those chains yet again, and Smith to the air. And that gets intercepted. Not the best decision right there. We threw it with about three or four white jerseys around my man Ross, and that led to the INT. So they take over at the 15. Y'all gonna get the ball to Tate on the end around. That goes nowhere. They throw the ball on third down to Wester. Big tied in, and that pass play goes nowhere. So our defense again forces another three and out. We go to Green in the flat, makes the catch, picks up a couple on that pass play. And on the very next play, we go right back to the air, trying to find Cole on the slant route, but Sap is there for the INT. So Travis, he gets the carry again. James, who is Harvey's replacement room. Harvey is a senior, so James, he is taking over the outside duties for my man Harvey. He gets in there on the stop. Now watch my man Bonner, whoo, with a huge hit. Looking like Patrick Willis. Oh, how, how I miss you being an honor fan, Patrick Willis. Oh, I missed it. But check out that hit one more time. Bonner is a flat-out beast, man. So Hargrove, he gets the carry. I believe Alabama will attack on the field goal after that hit by my man Bonner. So we're going to find Ross on the slant route. He's going to pick up a first down. Now it's going to be third and six. And that didn't work out the way that I planned it. So anyways, man, dropping back the pass is Silva taking a shot deep. And that's going to be caught by Travis out of the backfield. Who do you think you are, Duke Johnson? What are you doing? But then my man James with the INT starting his first ever game at the outside linebacker position. And he's playing pretty well, I must say. We get the ball to Hargrove up that guy. He's going to bounce off a man and pick up only a couple. We get the ball to him again. He's going to pick up a... Only a couple. Now Silver dropping back the pass, and K is Johnny on the spot. Let's go. So both teams are having issues with the passing game, so you know we got to keep it on the ground. We go right back to Hargrove, and this time he picks up the first down. Dropping back the pass one more time, and my man Smith threads the needle. Touchdown, S-A-U Bulls. Now, remember, we did a recruit an uh, elite 11 quarterback. I know some of you guys are asking him to play. Don't want him to red shirt, and I get that 100% as this dude gets a nice pick return up to the 45-yard line. But I want to see what Smith can do because if we have horses in the stable, that means that we don't have to ever rebuild. We can just reload, and that is the goal here with the Bulls. Now, anyways, Travis, he gets up field, picks up a nice game, move those chains for the Crimson Tide, gets the ball up to the 31-yard line, gain of two now. 
on second late for the 29. Bonner can't bring him down, but look at the effort at Bonner. He got off of him one time, came back, stripped the football, but Alabama was able to recover. And now my man breaking, tackled, bumbling, and stumbling his way forward for a first down. So first and 10 from the 14 yard. They get the ball right back to Chavis, and he's going to pick up a gain of five. Toss play now going to the outside, but look at all those gold jerseys. Okay, let me not lie. Let, let me stop lying. Let me just call those yellow jerseys because they are not gold. Anyways, man, they have to set up for a field goal, their second field goal of the first half. So it's 14 to 6. Our defense is playing phenomenal. Like I said, our defense has actually gotten better, believe it or not. So now Richie Thompson, he's going to get the carry to start off the second half gonna pick up a gain of nine hard grove the more physical running back checks back in picks up the first down now we can go with the direct snap the hard grove breaks the tackle gets brought down but not until he picks up a first down richie thompson headed to the open field and he's gonna pick up a first down move those chains for the bulls now smith over the middle and what was that Threw the ball directly to the middle linebacker of the Crimson Tide. This is not catch, and you don't throw the ball to the opponent. What are you doing? Anyways, man, they give the ball to McDuffie, but look at K. Oh, my goodness. Forced and fumbles a huge hit on that big fullback. Letting him know this is how we do in Texas. They give the ball to Travis on third down. Picks up the first down. They give the ball right back to him again. This is his best carry of the ball game. He's going to pick up a nice game. You can see his career numbers. Only has 300 yards in his career. So he is definitely a newcomer to the starting lineup. They give the ball to him again. But uh, 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 we are all over those run plays. Second and nine. They give the ball right back to Travis. You see him weaving through traffic. Picks up a nice game. But that's going to set up third and three for the nine yard and they get the ball to him again and look at K with a huge hit oh my goodness like Derek Brooks I mean this, this linebacker course freaking Patrick Willis Derek Brooks and, and James on the other side I, I don't know who, who he is just yet but we got some hitters out there man so Alabama have to set up for a field goal look at my man Chad Johnson having himself a ball game that catch right there will give him 99 yards on the day so far getting that one foot in bounds now Smith gonna go to him again he's gonna pick up a gain of about seven and that's gonna give him 106 on the day we're gonna go right back to the best tied in in the country is my man Chad Johnson gets another catch move those chains look at hard Go make two people miss, gets it to the secondary, and picks up a big first down. First and go, we give it to the fullback. That's Collins, and he gets into the end zone. Touch down. SAU. So our offense is finally getting some going. That's probably our best drive since the first drive of the ball game. Now he's going to throw this one, and that's going to be intercepted by Wright. I believe Wright is a true sophomore. Takes that thing to the crib. Touch down. SAU. You Bulls, like I told you guys from the get-go, our defense has improved. Now, Alabama's not ranked so clearly. They're not the best team to judge how good we are. But you see what we're doing versus the Crimson Tide. I'm just saying. We can only judge on what we can judge. And we have to judge this game right here. So, third and two for the 27. They give the ball to McDuffie. But, no, again, count the yellow jerseys around him as Williams gets to stop. Now, Hargo, after we force him to go three. And now you see this man running the ball hard. He's trying to make people forget about. Chris Cooper, who? Chris Cooper. Anyways, man, Smith drops back the pass, fumbles the football. Joseph jumps on top of it, and that is going to give the ball right back to Alabama. So now they're going to give the ball to Chavis. Again, cut up field, but Bonner is right there. Again, his eight tackle left the ball game. They go right back to him on the ground, and this time Butler comes up from his cornerback position. He's not a favorite big running back from Alabama. He chops him down, but on the very next play, Chavis turns into a pinball, and he's going to break people down. But then on the very next play, look at Bonner again. This shutting this ground game down. Bonner, he can't get to him, but don't worry. Schultz will get to him. He gets his fourth tackle from his cornerback position. Third and seven. Chavis, again, going nowhere. K on the stop. He had over 10 tackles this ball game. My man Silver going to find Tate on fourth down. Touch down Crimson Tide. We were playing the zone, and you see James kind of get his hands up in time, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Alabama Crimson Tide. We get the ball to Richie Thompson. He only picks up a game of four. We go to Hargrove. Hargrove goes nowhere, so it's third and seven. We have to keep this drive moving. And drop back to pass. Take a shot to the sideline, and that's going to be Green, the backup tied in, the senior tied in, and he's going to pick up first down. Now we go up top to Chad Johnson, and he 
is gone. Touch down SAU Bulls. And just like that, we have increased our lead to 12. 35 to 23 is the score. And this one, Silver so going to go to the flat and find Smith for a gain of about seven. Second and three. Dropping back the pass with time. Going to take a shot, but get, 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 get that thing about here now it's third down they need to pick up three from the 27 y'all but get that thing about here fourth and three last chance for the crimson tide nice diving catch right there and that's gonna be enough to move those chains to get the ball to travis bonner johnny on the spot again he can't be stopped man i'm just saying he can't be stopped travis gets the carry again gets brought down by bonner again third and two now silver looking can throw this one up top that's gonna be caught again he gets smacked by two defenders but he's gonna hang on to that one and now dropping back one more time going to run back in the flat and travis he gets brought down by two defenders and the clock continues to run so alabama has to burn time out silver looking from the gun gonna fire this one to the flat smith makes the catch tick tock tick tock time is ticking off the clock they get the ball to travis again look at him breaking tackles picks up a first down they go right back to the ground and this time he gets into the end zone touchdown alabama now it's up to the onside kick which special teams unit is better and the answer right here is the sau bulls special teams better as richie thompson is johnny on the spot to get the recovery and that's gonna be all she wrote in this one a nice way to kick off the season beating Alabama. The last time we played Alabama, it was in Tuscaloosa, and they gave us a beatdown to remember. I mean, their running back, I forget his name, but I believe it was like a couple of seasons ago, their running back ran crazy on us, and it was pretty pretty pathetic if you had to ask me now anyways man our next game is versus texas a and them. i must say smith i like smith i know some people are calling for that freshman to start but he's being red shirted i like smith uh we didn't throw the best passes from time to time but hey if we keep on throwing the ball to chad we will be just fine hargrove he had over 100 yards rushing i believe in his first game as a starter chad johnson almost 200 yards receiving flat out beast if we go to the defense our defense was killing it k and bonner might might be the best dynamic duo at linebacker that I've seen in a while. Look at that. 11 tackles by Bonner, 10 tackles by K, 2 for loss by K, 1 for loss by my man Bonner, and of course K had that INT. But hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day, and I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.